Okay, so I have a couple of questions before the video starts. Would you rather um, go into the future or go back to the past? And out of all the Back to the Future movies, which one is your favorite? One, two, or three? Enjoy the video! No, 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 hang on, Michael. I have to tell you about your future. Jazzy right here and I'm back for another video um, before I get into it I just want to go ahead and just say subscribe to the channel and like the video um, like Long Beach Griffey said it's like YouTube long but let's get started so this video I asked you guys a question well two questions um, the first question I asked was if you can if you have the choice to either go back in time or to um, go into the future or ahead of time, um, which choice, like, what would you do? And I also asked you guys um, which Back to the Future was the best one. I'm going to answer those questions for myself, okay? For me, the choice, if I could go into the future or see or go back to the past, I would choose neither. I don't want to change anything because... Excuse me, I just ate some ramen noodles. Beef flavored. If you hate on beef, we can't be friends. If you hate on beef flavored ramen noodles, we gon' have beef. No, I'm just playing. I don't want to go back to the past because I feel like if I didn't make the choices I made back then, I wouldn't be the person I am today. You know, so I, I wouldn't go back to the past. I wouldn't change anything. If you would have asked me this as a teenager, then I would say probably go into the past. But I don't want to go to the past and I don't want to go to the future because I just don't. I don't. I don't. Like, I've never wanted to go into the future. <laughs> As a kid, it's like I always wanted to go to the future. Like, I used to always rush time. Like, oh my god, my 18th birthday can't come any sooner. Rephrase that. It just can't get here any quicker. And then, right when I'm turning like 17, I'm like, Damn, I'm really about to be 18 next year. Time went too fast. So, no, I don't want to go into the future. I think about the future, but I don't want to go into the future. Because things may not go the way you plan it. And my favorite Back to the Future is definitely between Part 1 and Part 2. I like Part 1 because technically they're trying to get back to the future. And then in Part two it's like they go into the they go into the future get back to the past but they messed up the the present so really they, they got to go back to the past so it's, it's it's i love back to the future movies i love them i feel like a, a lot of that stuff who would have thought that a lot of that stuff that was in the movie we actually have that now the only thing we don't have is flying cars but don't bat it don't don't close your eyes because we could have flying cars next year i mean i don't know i don't know so it's definitely between part one and part two i i couldn't get into part three i, I didn't really like part three like that now you're probably wondering jazz what's the point of this video well the point in this video is i want to talk about people who look too much they like put too much or look too much into the future 
or they stay focused on the past. They're so focused on the past and they look too far ahead in the future that they forget to stay present in the moment. Now, as you guys know, I do um, intern at a um, rehab center. And basically, that's the one thing that we, we counsel. I'm not a counselor yet, but I do lead group. That's the one thing we talk about in group. Um, staying present in the moment. And meditation definitely helps with that. And yoga, stay present in the moment. I think sometimes we, we get so besides ourselves that we just put so much emphasis on the future that we forget to actually just sit back and just smell the roses and just enjoy what you have now because if you if you stay too far in the past too well not too far but if you stay behind in the past it makes you angry and if you go too far into the future it makes you anxious when you stay present in the moment you feel calm you feel peaceful you don't have to worry about anything at least you shouldn't be i was the type of person i kind of did both like i kind of would look too far into the future sometimes and then i was also that person who stayed behind in the past that i would just forgot to just live life <laughs> and enjoy what you have now kind of comes off a little bit um ungrateful you know when it came down to the future i would look far into the future when it came to relationships that was my problem i do have pisces in my chart <laughs> and pisces they're all about that fantasy life looking ahead instead of focusing on the now you know and i'm not trying to throw shade at pisces i know my pisces homegirls watching this <laughs> But I did that a lot. Sometimes, in rare cases, because I don't like too many guys. I really don't. Like, when I did like a guy, instead of just staying present and getting to know him and just seeing how things go, I would think so far into the future. Like, oh, my, in my head, we were already boyfriend and girlfriend already. And it's cool to manifest that and, and, and say that out loud and, and think that, you know, because you do want to manifest things and you want to affirm things but at the same time things don't always turn out how you plan the, you know whoever you choose to have your faith in whether it's the angels whether it's the universe the ancestors um god jehovah allah jesus whoever okay they're gonna let you know when something should work or when something is not supposed to work one example i can use and this is a real life example so last year i kind of lost sight of, like he was like the, legit the first guy i'm like giving my time to because I, I don't give my time to a lot of guys and i got so caught up with the idea of oh i can have a boyfriend that i forgot that i wasn't even really dating him like that like i was talking to him in fact he tried to commit me and i said no in the beginning because i wanted to get to know him but through, during that process of getting to know him i kind of lost myself and you know some things happened and it made me emotional because i really liked him and i really in my head i'm like oh my god i i could have sworn we were we were going to be boyfriend and girlfriend but then i had to snap back into reality and be like girl you're not dating him like that for real you're not what is you crying over him for so i feel like sometimes when we when we dive deep into the future we lose sight of ourselves and then we put our it's just it's, it's, it's we become so far into that fantasy world that we forget to see the reality of the situation that was my problem now when it came to the past well i was angry I always do the past. I always stayed in the past. And last, also, 333. Also last year, I this person actually helped me realize, which I'm going to do another video talking about. He read me like a mug. He told me, he said, Jasmine, you know what your problem is? And I said, what? Being funny. Because I'm like, what is my problem? Since you know everything. He told me, you have a problem with letting go. And when he said that, I was shocked because he was right.
and you got some people who are just there just to like give you tips or give you you know how you meet the, like those side characters that you like on the game and they give you like an item or something to help you and then that's the last time you see the character so it could be that you know that too in real life but see the problem was I didn't do anything about it I always would point the finger at people I never took responsibility even if I was the one causing the trouble I always play victim a lot because I always will be like, well, I'm the reason, well, the, ra the reason why I'm so angry is because you did this to me. Or the reason why I did this to you is because you did this to me. Instead of just taking responsibility for my part in it. Now, I have a lot of emotional breakdowns due to this person letting me know. And it, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, you know. I needed to hear that, you know. And also, I was taking human service classes so it was like going to therapy every Thursday yeah every Thursday every Thursday it was like going to one big ass therapy class <laughs> but during that time when I was finally just having a moment to cry and just think about my childhood and things I started off pointing the finger even more because I was so fixated with with you know this person did this to me. And the thing is, we're, we are all, we've all been hurt. We all have been through trauma. And I've been through some stuff that I would never wish on my worst enemy. But how you get over, because people wonder, how do you get over the past? And this is exactly what I told some clients. I said, first, you got to accept. You got to accept the fact that things happen to you. Like, if you're somebody with daddy issues or abandonment issues, realize that you have those issues. If you're someone who is bipolar but never wanted to accept that you was bipolar or that you have mental health issues, accept it. Just have a moment and be like, you know what? I've been hurt, I've been broken. Or I have daddy issues. Or I have issues with commitment. or And not just commitment as far as like relationships. I mean commitment to plans. Okay. Also. Just, just, just have a moment and just be like, you know what? Maybe it's not them. Maybe it's not just the them. Maybe it's me. Because what I have to realize is yes, I've been hurt. I've been hurt. I've been through stuff with my family. I've been through things with girlfriends and, 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 and guys and things. I've been hurt. Hell, I even tried to hurt myself. But you can't, I did a video about this. You can't let that get to you. Bitch, what the fuck? The neighbors. You can't let it get to you. See, that right there is kind of like it's them but it's you at the same time. Because if you let that hurt and that pain drive your entire life, you're going to be angry and you're going to miss out on many opportunities. Check out Janet Jackson's song, um, Trust to Try. That song is about so many different, I mean it's mainly about relationships but when you once you understand the deeper meaning of it, like Trust to try, you know, don't, don't, don't let us, your past define your future or your present, your now. Like, they asked, now, at the time, she had been divorced. It was her second divorce. And, um, I forget which interview it was, but I'll link it. But basically, you know, the, the guy asked her, like, like, are you going to let your, your divorce or just past relationships affect your dating life and she said no basically she's just like you can't let that get to you you can't let you know that would be so unfair not only to her I mean other people but herself to let the past determine who you are and what you do because you can't let that one bad apple spoil it. As a matter of fact, Jehovah's Witnesses, like, like they gave, they actually used this, the, the best analogy, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I use it to this day. If you get a batch, like a bag of apples, and you got that one bad apple in there. Now you can do three things. You can throw the whole bag away. 
and never buy apples again. Never trust the apples again. Never trust the grocery stores ever again. Or you can take that one bad apple and throw it all, just throw it away and then try the other apples. Or you can take that apple, cut the bad piece out, depending on how bad and how beat up it looked, you can just cut that bad piece and eat your apple and enjoy your apple. And with me, I would throw the whole bag away. I would throw the whole bag when it came to guys, I threw the whole bag away. Like, like, I would be like, F you, like you're all F boys and I'm gonna go gay and do this and do that. You know what I mean? No, why? That's unfair to me. I deserve to have, I mean, whether I end up with a woman or not, because I don't know if you guys know, but I do go both ways. But whether I end up with a woman or not, you know, or a man, it really doesn't matter. I deserve love and happiness too. You know, whether it's with a woman or a man. I deserve children. I deserve to have a career. And I'm not going to let my past define me. I've been through stuff. Yes, I have. But I'm still healing. And we are in a healing process right now. I feel like that's the reason why we're all in quarantine. Because it's, it's a spiritual thing that's going on. You can't let that get to you. Even even like with girlfriends. Like, like I was the type of girl I was a tomboy growing up I never really got along with girls growing up because for one I was a tomboy I felt like they couldn't relate to me and I was very insecure about that because I wasn't girly enough in fact girls will pick on me and that never left me that never left me you know I internalized it you know and I just want to I'm going to name drop some girls because I actually do want to you know get together with with them one day and kind of just hash our issues out because this was elementary school we're we're grown now we're almost like in like five years four five or six years we'll be 30. Rogine, Alexis, Chriselle, I heard you're um having a baby Aww. <laughs> everybody's having babies now um while she Nick and Krishana those were my girls but I felt like Growing up, I couldn't relate to them because I was such a tomboy and I was so insecure of myself that I couldn't relate to them. I kind of used my religion to type of... Type of... The fuck is he talking about? I used my religion to kind of um, be the scapegoat on why I didn't want to be friends with them anymore. It had nothing to do with the religion. I, I just didn't fit in with them. I was quiet. I was tomboyish. I didn't curse. I, I cuss a lot now. <laughs> I didn't cuss. Like, they used to try to get me to cuss and I didn't. Like, it was just a lot going on. But now that we're grown, I want to talk about that because I do think it's important to heal. You know, I'm not saying we have to be the best of friends, but I do believe that, you know, we need to have that moment with people that we may have hurt or people that may may have understood us misunderstood us and things like that you know just 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 not even you know do it for yourself and do it for them you know but we were kids you know we were little kids but i had to let go of that i had to let go of that i mean every high school i've been to every school i've ever been to in my entire life i always played Car katie heron i don't know why the mean girls the mean girls always liked me the mean pretty girls always liked me and I didn't know why. I was insecure. I know I keep saying that. And also, I don't do groups. Like, I don't do clicks. Like, I'm not a follower like that. So, I, I, I'm really not. Even when I try to be a follower or if I try to follow trends, I end up failing each time because it's just not in me to be a follower. I'm more of a leader. They... Like, with a click, it's like, if one person does something, then everybody has to do it. And I just wasn't with that. And girls called me fake because I, I was my own person. And I hung out with whoever I wanted to hang out with. But see, that's... I had to let go of that because I was I was the type of person, I, I don't like females. I'd rather hang out with guys because it's less drama. I was one of those girls, believe it or not. I was one of those girls who was like, females are too much drama. I don't want to hang out with them. Yes, I'm a female, but I don't want to hang out with them. I'd rather hang out with guys. They keep it more real. Ain't no drama. No, hanging out with guys, it's just as bad. <laughs> it's just as bad, to be honest. But I had to let go of that because now, don't get me wrong, I have um, female friends 
but I got like two real down female friends. I know if I jump up, they gonna jump up with me. Not because they're followers of mine, but because we're connected like that. You hurt one of us, you hurting all of us. And that's just how that goes. And I've been bullied, you know, but I had to let go of that pain. I'm even to a point now where I, I like the way I look because I got picked on because of how I looked. I got picked on by girls. I got picked on by boys. I got picked on by family members. I think that really hit home for me, like with family. But I guess the point, because this is not really about me, but the point that I'm trying to make is we all have been hurt. We all have to break these cycles and let go of that. And especially with breaking these cycles. I'm a rebel. I believe sh I believe shit should be broken. Okay? So, I just feel... Not even feel. I know we have to break these cycles. I know we have to let go. Do like a cleansing. And stop focusing on the past. And I want to do the letting go video because it's kind of like... I'm kind of going to repeat the same stuff. But it's just like... We got to stop living in the past and focus not even on I mean plan your future out do your vision board affirm things and, and, and write things down but let the future come when it I don't like saying that <laughs> let the future happen when it's supposed to happen don't mess with the process the universe is making sure that that happens for you but if you keep messing with the process it's not going to happen the way you want it to and sometimes when you're focusing too much on something that you can't see that you can't stay in the moment the universe or whoever will show you signs and it may even it may even mean that you may have to get hurt in order for you to open your eyes you know i've been hurt a lot of times now i know or at least i'm working on staying present so I can really enjoy, like if I, if I meet a guy, I want to enjoy talking to him. I want to enjoy being, getting to know him. Just enjoy it and just see where it goes. You know, with friendships, like I want to enjoy friendships. I want to enjoy being at my internship. I want to enjoy my final year of college, okay? I want to enjoy being with my family. I don't want to think too far into the future and then stay behind in the past. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to play victim and blame people for my past, the past I had. And I don't want to, you know, get so focused on one thing that I lose myself. That's why we got to stay present. Don't overthink. Don't stress yourself out even more. It's just going to make you more anxious. And anxiety is it's like a protection, but really it harms us. You know, in our head it's protection, but it's really not... I hope I made a lot of sense. I feel like I was all over the place. But I am still going to do the letting go video. Um, it, it's probably going to be shorter than this. But um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and comment. Um, let me know how you guys feel about staying in the past and looking too deep into forward into the future and staying in the moment. What's your favorite Back to the Future movie? And if you had the choice to go back in time or to go ahead of time, what would be your choice? And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye! <laughs>